viewport layout tab bar. The viewport layout tab bar allows us to store multiple viewport setups in a single scene. So we can switch between different viewport setups with just a click. To display the viewport layout tab, we need to go up to our main toolbar. This is our main toolbar here. On the right side, out here in this blank area, I want to right click. Then I want to come down and check on my viewport layout tabs. When I turn that on, you'll see over here to the left of the viewports is my viewport layout tabs. If I come down here and click on this button right here, this right hand arrow, I click on it, I, you see I have different other viewports. You can see I have the current one down here is my four equal viewports. I can come down here and pick on another viewport. I'll pick on this one right here. And now I can see three a different setup of my viewports. So over here I have my left one down here, my top, and my front. And I can quickly change back and forth between the two different viewports uh, configurations. I can add as many as I want. I can come over here and say I want a single viewport. And now I have a single viewport from the top. And I'll just change that to a perspective. And let's go with realistic here. All right. And so I can come over here and this is called a, a view cube. And I can actually come in here and change this thing around all I want. And uh, I can come in here and say, ah, let's look at it as a single here, a th three viewport here. I can look at it as a four viewport here. And so with a, just a click, I can change these. Let's say I don't want one. I click on the one I don't want. I right click and say delete that tab. When I delete the tab, it's gone. Okay, so remember I can come up and right click and I turn off my viewport layout tabs and that's gone. So the key is I have to right click out here to the right side of my main toolbar and turn on my viewport layout tabs and you'll see in between is my viewport layout tabs and this arrow button is the one that allows us to create a new viewport layout configuration.